up with everyone it's Friday and I woke up to one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen in my life the last day in Jamaica can't wait to come back like the water was so clear so blue I just found out that you can go swimming with dolphins on the resort and we have two hours until our next flight so we have to get on a bus and then drive like nearly two hours to the airport and i think i might just take one last dive before we head back to new york city hey good morning everyone today is wednesday we're about to go work out we're trying to start a new routine where we wake up in the morning and we work out or we try to work out before noon and to add to that routine i also want to start reading more in the morning as well whenever i read i just get these really creative like ideas and like inspiration and i want to start doing that in the morning to start out my day got a new lens which is why the field of view is so wide and it's perfect for vlogging So I have the whole gym to myself. This rarely happens, especially since it's the morning time and it seems like that's when it's the most crowded between like eight to like 9 a.m. was super packed and it was really packed when we walked in, but no one's here except people who are playing basketball. So I love an empty gym. Yo, the home office is really coming together and there's just so much potential. And by coming together, I mean like it's way less cluttered and I can actually show you all without feeling embarrassed about it. So I wanna talk more about like some of my fashion inspiration, some of my favorite brands. I know you all have been asking me that. I do it a lot in my other videos or my other platforms specifically. But today I'm wearing a Uniqlo 3D waffle knit sweater i got on this chrome hearts necklace i forget the name of it um but I, I love this necklace it's so simple and timeless it's just perfect and i'm rocking these beams a parachute pan my perfect wardrobe would be this idea of and i didn't come up with this idea my friend andre shout out to andre this idea of having a 30 piece wardrobe so that's actually not an easy thing to do because each item in your wardrobe is supposed to be like around 130 or like 150 dollars and more and it doesn't have to be like 150 dollars specifically but the idea is i know i kind of contradicted what i just said but what i'm trying to say is each item is high quality like capsule item that you could wear for like you know 10 20 years the pants i'm wearing right now they're pretty expensive not even gonna lie but this Uniqlo waffle knit, 3D waffle knit sweater was like 30% of that price point of $150. Like not even, just like 30 bucks. I kind of like to have like a mixture of the two, like my more timeless capsule pieces that, you know, cost more money, but also I could always resell them for the same price, if not more, with some of the basic essentials that are higher quality, but I don't like to go over like 40-ish dollars. All right, so I actually want to rearrange my office. I want to move some things around. I think what I want to do is I want to take the desk setup and either move it in front of this window, move it over to this wall. I feel like I should put it in front of the window. Whatever I decide, it doesn't have to be permanent.
So I actually felt pretty inspired. I just posted an Instagram reel of my new setup and doing some coding. I've been doing cozy coding type of vibes, Instagram reels for like seven months, which has really grown my Instagram like significantly. It's fun combining like cinematics with doing things that actually motivate and inspire and not only the people who are watching it but for myself like one thing i try to do when i film myself programming is sometimes i like make sure that hey you gotta commit some code in order to post this this is like some sort of accountability right now i'm actually working on a vlog i've been trying to continue to stay consistent on instagram reels it is hard to be consistent on all three so tiktok's been on the back burner I really have no issue with that because creating YouTube videos is my favorite thing to do. And I'm just really grateful that you all have really enjoyed these vlogs and grateful to live in New York City now. More interesting place to vlog. Today I have a few meetings, but right now I'm just working on making sure our participants for our next hackathon are all set up. So I'm just basically going through what it would be like to build with Flex starting from scratch. That way my documentation doesn't have any gaps and it's easy to follow. One really important part of this new job is constantly thinking about how can we make it as seamless as possible for our customers to use our APIs and our SDKs and making sure they have the best developer experience. All right, so, so as you can see, the wall hasn't changed at all. That's because in order to build these shelves, it's a two-man job, two-person job, me and Lee. So hopefully we can do that today. My stomach has been going crazy this morning. Outfit for today, capital bandana. It's been like one of my favorite accessories. Noah hoodie that's actually too small. And probably my favorite pants ever, these Lululemon Surge joggers that I purchased like five years ago. I feel like the office looks kind of boring. When we add the floating shelves, that'll definitely add to the aesthetic and make the office look a little bit more interesting. Then we have to get a carpet in here um, and add some pictures along this wall. And I need to get some sort of like lounge, like couch. I want to get that to go couch, that like really popular one that's like a vintage, um, dupe of like this 1960s couch that this French furniture design company created, but they're all like back ordered or just way too expensive. All right, so this is the Govi floor lamp and has RGB colors and I can control it with my smartphone. I'm just filming a TikTok video of like this home office setup building series and this is just part one. But nonetheless, I'm really excited about this light. 